Hi friends, this is Anna Hellman with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff. I'm here today to share a tip with you that is going to make your life better if you have any of the old Stampin' Up! stamps that were clear mount but do not have the sticky labels on them to make them easy to attach to a block. See, that falls off. Or new ones stick right away, the cling stamps. So I'm sure if you hear what I'm saying, if you have some of these stamps, you are thinking about all those tricks you try to get those stamps to stick to your blocks. My personal favorite was take your block, rub it back and forth on the outside of my, on, on the front of my thigh for, I don't know, 10 seconds or more. You gotta, you gotta warm that block up. Then you stick it on the stamp and you push hard for, I don't know, five, 10 seconds. Pick it up, and usually it would stick. Today, oh, oh, I thought it was going to stick, but it didn't. So, okay, right, we all had those tricks to try to get them to stick. It was, it was a little frustrating. Okay, when you're in your craft room, you are there for fun. You do not need to be dealing with getting those stamps to stick to blocks. So Stampin' Up! came out with cling adhesive. These come in little strips so that you can turn these old clear mount stamps that don't have the cling adhesive into cling and never have to worry about this again. So the set comes with several of these sheets. These are divided up into strips. So that area you can see above my fingers right now, that is one strip. And the set comes with 168. I am thinking you could use about half of this strip for an average stamp set. So I think you could probably get uh, maybe maybe around 16 stamp sets out of one of these. Now I haven't I haven't done a bunch of old sets, so I don't know exactly. And of course, it will depend on the size of your stamp sets as well. So I'll show you how to attach these to stamps, and then I'm going to show you a second one of how I like to attach them to smaller stamps because the size of your stamp is going to affect how you want to do this. So I'm going to lay this on here and see how I want. I think I can fit two full ones on there. Okay. So you, these are split. That one section has two paper backing pieces. So it makes it easy. You're going to pull one off from the center. Pull the other one off from the center. That way it's going to stay stuck right there. Now we are going to do this again. I'm going to use two strips on this particular stamp since it's pretty large. Okay, that adhesive is still stuck to the paper. Now I'm going to lay this over top so that that adhesive is not sticking out over the edge. Give it a good press and just fold Fold the backing and peel that stamp off. And we'll see, can you see, I think you should be able to see where that adhesive is stuck on. So I know this is not the right size block, but let's see if it sticks. Sticks wonderfully. It does not have to be all the way across the surface of that stamp. And what I have found is I really prefer that the edges of the cling adhesive be inside of the edges of the stamp. If they stick out the outside, that cling adhesive wants to cling to my block when I pull it off and like actually come off of the stamp. So keep it inside of the edges of the stamp and it's going to make it easier to take that block off or take it off of the block, I should say. Now, here's a smaller one. So if I stick this down, that adhesive strip is going to stick outside of the edges of this stamp. So I want to show you what I decided I like to do because I don't really want to have extra adhesive sticking out and then me have to trim that off with my scissors. It's really sticky and a little bit of a pain when I tried it that way. So I am going to cut out. These are already used up, so I have this one right here. And I'm going to trim this down while it still has the paper backing on. I am going to trim this down to a size that I think will fit inside of that stamp. So this is going to be trial and error for a moment here. I 
and that's still just a touch big. I'm going to trim it down a little bit more. That looks pretty good to me. So what I decided I like to do, I'm going to peel off one of the paper backing sheets. The adhesive on the one half is exposed, the other half it is not. Okay, turn your stamp so that the label side is up. And I'm going to lay this on where I can see that that adhesive is going to fall inside of the edges of my stamp. Stick that side down, I fold this side back, peel that paper backing off, stick it down. Now all you have to do is, and I am going to give it a good press, I want to make sure the edges of that adhesive are stuck down really well. Pull it off and there we go. It is nice and stuck to that block. When I go to pull it off, the cling stays attached and it's not trying to stay stuck to that block. Like I said, happened a few times when I was trying to peel my stamp off and the cling was actually a little bit outside of that stamp area. So I hope this is helpful. I really like this adhesive. I am definitely going to be using it on my old stamps that did not have the cling adhesive when they came. So thanks for joining in and I hope to see you again next time.